One billion people around the world lack access to electricity, burning their money up in kerosene lamps, and also pouring it into diesel generators and creating lots of noxious smoke. They don't really like these technologies. They're not really happy with them. I'm Stuart Crane from Village Infrastructure Angels, and I'm the Managing Director. We invest in poverty alleviating infrastructure in villages in developing countries. Our team has already helped two million people around the world to gain access to electricity, but it's also about helping women in the daytime by bringing innovations like solar powered milling into the villages. And a job that took one hour by hand now only takes a few minutes. Powering Agriculture is supporting delivery of 500 mils to 10,000 households while GSMA are helping to add smart sensors and Finance for Resilience awards are helping us connect to investors. At the moment, a lot of the focus of our industry is on nighttime uses of energy. These reduce expenditure but they don't actually generate that much extra income and they often need batteries which makes the energy more expensive. So we're focusing on the daytime uses of energy such as agro-processing, water pumping and automating daytime cooking. We know that solar electricity has come down, but there is a distinct difference between the cost of that energy with and without batteries. And so we've identified solar agro-processing as a particular market gap that can add value to the crops of the poor. Welcome to the world's largest range of solar agro-processing mills that help to reduce manual labour by women and also reduce diesel. A typical project will range between 10 to 100 households for a total cost of around two to $500 per household, that's our investment. This is paid for through the savings of kerosene lighting, diesel fuel expenditure on the mills, and increased income opportunities from the time savings. The market potential is immense. Billions for solar mills and hundreds of billions for micro-infrastructure altogether. But it's the reactions in the villages that are most important. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs>